Welcome to the NSSF Friends with Benefits show. My name is Gaetano Kagua. Oh, you can just call me G5 for short. I am not going to say I'm Chris. <laughs> I am Crystal Newman. NSSF Friends with Benefits is a show where individuals from all over Uganda receive their benefits from the fund and use them to do something amazing. We share their stories based on your votes. And to help us make that decision, we have an esteemed panel of judges. That's right. Help me in uh, sort of saying hello to our judges. We have Mr. Stevens Mwanje. We have Mabel Chigundu. And then we have a gentleman in glasses looking sharp and dapper, Mr. Paul Busharizi. <laughs> <laughs> and we have the lovely Barbara Erimi. Last week, we had some amazing guests who were able to tell us their stories and how they got their benefits from NSSF. Our first contestant was Edmund Mulondo. Now, his was a very heartwarming story because he had a heart condition and received his benefit to be able to seek medical advice all the way in India. Our second contestant was Charles Esanu. And he hailed from Soroti and set up his own hostel, calling it Trinity Hostel, to give back to his community. At the end of the show, we find out whether Edmund or Charles will make it to the next level. Today on Friends with Benefits, we travel to Ibanda and meet Mrs. Lynn Kejuka. My name is Lynn Jacinta Kejuka. I'm turning 16 November. This one is Mr. Kejuka Elias, my husband. We have lived together for almost 42 years. When I joined URA in 1992, that's when they started deducting my money, and I felt good because me, I already knew about NSSF. I retired in 2009, so I went to NSSF. I told them, they asked for my letter of voluntary retirement and the acceptance from their side. I presented them, and they, they, my money was paid. I think within a month, I had got my money. He had built this house. It was a share, just the share had been there for over six years. So we sat as a family and we said, okay, let us put our, your money where? In our home. Let it be our retirement home. So he came, started building this home. I had retired, but now I came to rescue this house with this same seed money from NSSF to start putting the window and door frames, to plaster it, to tile it the way you see it, to build the boys' quarter. In the December 2014, we had the pleasure to come and pray in the house with pastors and reverends and my, our elders and children and entered it officially. The balance after completing the house, uh, we, we improved this banana plantation, even added on another one of six acres. We planted uh, eucalyptus trees of two and a half acres, another coffee plantation of one and a half acre. Immediately I got my NSSF benefits. The first thing actually I did was to buy five cows. 
Right now, we have over 15. We are getting 20 to 30 liters of milk every day, which also we sell. And sometimes when we go there, we even bring for our own consumption. So I have no problem with milk. It comes from the farm. The other man, he had bought that pickup, you saw. The NSSF savings, I think, have helped me. First thing, I have a good retirement home. Now, all these I have put in place are going to bring me income, which income I can use to live a comfortable life. For example, if I fall sick, I'm able to go to a doctor and get treatment. I've got my old woman here, I've been taking care of her comfortably. We are taking care of our grandchildren when they are here. I'm living a comfortable life. Thanks to NSSF benefits. Please help me in welcoming Mrs. Lynn Kaiju. Thanks. Well, Lynn, yours is a very interesting story, but I'm not the one with the questions. We have an esteemed panel of judges over here to ask their questions for your answers. A uh, very inspiring story. Uh, what would be your advice to these people who are receiving their money? going by your experience? I think I would advise them to plan. Because for me, when I got my money, I had not planned for anything for it. Our home here in Kampala is on one acre. The half acre was empty. So I just told this man, we are no, <laughs> let us do gardens. <laughs> no, out of nowhere. So we did the gardens, planted, did everything, but the money was not enough. So because we didn't plan, it didn't work. So I would advise them to plan very well and make sure they look for projects that can give them especially daily income. Arin, uh, thank you very much. A very inspiring journey that you have walked. What are you planning to help your community? I think I've already helped them. Because, for example, we use labor in the gardens and the farm, so we employ. Some come and work for cash, others work for food, because there are some people who don't have food. Then I think others can learn from me. For example, the banana plantation we improved is older than me. So already the community, the people are already seeing that banana plantation the way it is now. And they keep asking, how have you done it? And I think that is good. Okay. I want to thank our judges, of course, for some very pertinent questions that you've asked. Uh, and I did notice that you uh, recognized the presence of your husband for more than 40 years, and he is in the studio. Please give him a round of applause. <laughs> okay. Your husband must be very proud of you. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very sure he is. Those were fantastic words. We do appreciate it. Now, if you would like to vote for Mrs. Kaijuka, it is very simple indeed. All you have to do is type the words, vote Kaijuka, and then you send that to 8338. You can also vote online if you prefer. Visit www.nssfug.org. It's that simple. <laughs> <laughs> Honey, who is that? <laughs> Sweetie, who is that? Yeah. Okay, now, who is she? <laughs> Honey, it's not what you think. She's an SSF go. Here, see how much we've saved. Oh my God. NSSF Go is so easy, you'll always want to know. Track your savings via online and mobile. Download the NSSF Go app or dial star 254 hash. For more information, visit www.nssfug.org. NSSF. A better life. 
Win big with Postbank Uganda over the next four months. Win a brand new Toyota Premium, Bajaj motorcycle and smartphones at only 20,000 Uganda shillings. All you need to do is activate your account with a minimum deposit of 20,000 shillings. Use your account at least three times monthly and maintain a monthly minimum balance of 200,000 Uganda shillings for four months to qualify for the weekly and monthly draws to win smartphones, flat screens and motorcycles and a grand prize of a brand new Toyota Premium. All existing new and old Postbank customers qualify for the Win Big campaign. For more information on how to win big, visit any Postbank branch closest to you. Postbank, empowering you.